everyone welcome back to a new video and um, the products that i'm using today are from not polish there i've got m86 blooming mint 106 my big lush um m94 sunlit yellow 139 second nude and i have got azure which is 107 so if you want to get some money off the us website you can do so using my code natalie that's the not polish us website i don't have a code for the uk website um, at the minute i'm not sure if i'm getting one um, but if i do in the future i will let you know um, this is the glitter i'm using it is called snow globe it's absolutely gorgeous it's from nail sugar you can also get 10 percent off any nail sugar products using my code code natmug10 all in caps um, so to start with, I am, um, I forgot to zoom in, so I will zoom in in a minute, but um, I'm going to do the same as I did on the pinky on the index finger, so you'll be able to see a little bit better what I'm doing, but I'm working quite wet here with the beads, um, and I just want the beads, the colour, I want the colour to sort of run into each other, I want the colours to run, um, and I will go in with a cuticle bead of second nude at the index at the cuticle area there um on this finger the ring finger i'm going in with my big lush i absolutely love this color i did place an order and i bought seven more colors they did send me they sent me loads they were so kind so generous um but i, I had to buy some more <laughs> Because I just adore, I honestly, I love the colours, they're so nice. Um, this one I'm going to do just a whole finger of my Big Lush. This is kind of like, I want to say it's a lilac, but it's one of those like in between colours. It's kind of, I'm not quite sure whether to call it a pink or a purple. But if you hold it up next to a pink, I'm likely to say it's purple. But if you hold it up next to a purple, I'm likely to say it's more pink. It's one of those confusing colours. But it's one of those ones that you really need in your collection. Um, this is my cuticle bead now. And I'm just going to carefully... Um, drag this down over that first bead um, these are all strength powders so you don't need to if you're doing just a, a plain nail like this you don't need to cap them in clear at all you can just just leave them like this I'm trying to do an update on my computer for my other half's SD card out of his sat nav out of his tom tom and I tell you what I've been trying to do it for two hours uh, you wouldn't you would think it would be easy but I tell you what I don't know what I just I don't know normally I'm pretty good at stuff like this but it's driving me bananas <laughs> I just thought I'd put another little bead on just to make that cute uh, sorry just to heighten that apex ever so slightly I tried to keep my the nails on my flexi hand I tried to keep them quite thin because um I don't need I don't need um if you've got a client who's heavy-handed you might need to make the cuticle a little bit higher because they might need a bit more strength but because this is only on my flexi hand and uh, this is babs she's not gonna sh you know she's she's very delicate she's very careful <laughs> so she doesn't need um she doesn't need massive apexes you know so i'm just blending the second nude over those pastel -y colors and then because i don't want to file through my design on this nail i am going to cap this one in clear so then on the middle finger I am gonna. I'm gonna kind of gonna repeat what we've done on the uh, the pinky. Only I am gonna do this over the whole nail. So I'm working again quite wet, making the colours bleed into each other. You could do like um. It's not. I don't know. It's kind of like a marble, but it's not. Um, I don't know. Mm, do you know what I mean? Um, I just kind of want the colours to just sort of blend into each other. I've seen um, Tao do this on her, on their Not Polished channel. She works wet and makes the colours bleed into each other. So that's kind of what I was trying to do here. So I'm trying to... Um, I watch how she works with the acrylic, um, just so that I can 
because it's obviously a new system to me and at the moment I'm really really enjoying it and I'm trying to do things that she does to what's you know to um not copy what she does but you know work how she does with the acrylic so that I know what I can and can't do with it do you know what I mean does that make sense I think that makes sense yeah and now I'm going over this now this now we're going to cover completely with the snow globe glitter but you're still gonna be able to see the colors through it I love this over any color this glitter is just stunning so now you can see what I'm doing um I'm just pushing up the pushing the color up because where we do the blend with the second nude we want that area there to be quite thin so that when we come to ombre with the second nude color you won't end up with a, a bump there and then I'm kind of just mix not mixing but like working the colors into each other working very wet and very thin so that we don't end up with bulky nails There we go and then i am gonna while that's just setting up a bit i'm gonna cap this middle finger in clear acrylic so as i said before these are strength powders but if you have got glitter on your design or you have created um a marble or, or something and and you don't want or an ombre and you don't want to file through your design you will need to cap that in clear which is what I'm doing here. I just wanted to put a little bit more on this this uh, this nail. I don't know if you noticed, but that yellow uh, the the yellow acrylic has got a slight shimmer to it, which is really pretty. So now I'm going in with the cuticle bead of second nude and I'm just going to drag it down over the colours. I didn't take this down as far as I thought I would because I didn't want to cover up the colour too much. Okay now I'm going to just cap this one in clear as well so that when we come to file it we don't file through the design. And just cut the the end bit off that hangs off it sometimes it's really awkward to get off <laughs> oh dear and then I'm gonna put another bead at the cuticle area just to create a bit of an apex there that's what's gonna give the nail some strength And then what I will do is I will go ahead and file and buff the nails. I don't show this bit because I don't. I find this bit quite boring. Um, and then I'll give them a quick clean up, and then we can. Um, I'll show you what stickers we've got. So I've never done designer nails before, and they seem to be quite trendy at the moment. So I found in my sticker stash these LV stickers. Not Liverpool Victoria. For those of you who live in the UK, you probably know what that is. In fact, I think it's an insurance company, but I don't know. But these are supposed to be like Louis Vuitton, but they're not because, I, you know, they're just stickers. Stickers. So I'm going to put one on each nail and I'm trying to, I wanted to try and put them all in the same place and I wanted to make them straight. If I'd have thought about this before, I would have put them on the nail and then encapsulated. Um, but I didn't really, I didn't really think about it at the time. So what I will do is I'm going to put the stickers on the nails and then I will, I'll show you in a minute actually, but I want to make sure that the stickers are all roughly in the same place. There we go. Da, 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 da. <laughs> so what I'm doing now is I'm going over with some, I was worried that because I put stickers on it's going to, I'm going to lose that nice Although having said that, I'm not actually keeping them glossy. I'm making these in matte finish. So um, I didn't want to lose that light line, um, if, you know, that smooth light line. So what I decided to do was put some base coat on first just to help smooth out the nail a little bit. 
because where you've got those stickers you're going to end up with some height so i'll put base coat on cured it for 30 seconds this is the matte it top coat that i'm using from not polish i'm going to go over that base coat and i don't know how long actually i'll have to find out i don't know how long this stuff this uh, not polish top coat takes to cure um i do it just to be on the safe side for 60 seconds because i'm unsure of what the actual time is so i'll have to ask them i'll have to find out because um i don't want to give you guys the wrong information but if you um where i put base and top coat on i'm going to lose a little bit of that sharpness i'm going to hold this upside down as well for a few seconds before i put it in the lamp and um, what i'm going to do is i'm going to take my not polished file and I'm just going to give the free edge a quick file again. I know it's the dearest little, I've snipped off the dearest little bit of tip, but I don't like stiletto tips. Um, I'm just going to carefully file the edges just to make them a little bit more crisp again. And then this is the finished set. I hope you liked them if you did please leave me a like if you have not already do consider subscribing i sound like a robot don't forget you can get um some money off using my code natalie on the notpolish.com website and you can also get 10 percent off with nail sugar using my code natmug10 all in caps um yeah there we go and i'll see you beautiful lot tomorrow with a new video i must do that now <laughs> <laughs>